السلام علیکم دے اسٹوڈنٹس آف کلاس ٹین آئی ہوپ دیٹ یو آر ول ویل اینڈ ہیلدی بائی دا گریس آف آل مائی ٹی اللہ آئی آلسو وانٹ ٹو سے ٹو یو فرام آور بایولوجی ڈپارٹمنٹ عید مبارک آفٹر عید ویکیشن دس از آور فسٹ بایولوجی لیکچر ٹوڈے I want to deliver the lecture on chapter 5, chapter 12, Heredity in Organism and Evolution. I will complete the lecture with, I will complete this chapter with three lecture. Uh, they are Heredity in organisms are two lecture and evolution uh, belongs to one lecture. From today's lecture, we will be able to learn about heredity in organism, then components of heredity materials. Heredity materials are chromosomes, DNA, RNA, gene and at the end of our lecture we, uh, we will able to learn about DNA replication. So at first heredity in organisms. The structural and behavioral trait from both the parents, mother and father are passed to the offspring generation after generation. We will learn in this chapter how trait from both the parents are transmitted to the offspring. We will also learn about the existing classes in the living world and last emerge from their ancestor to evolution then chromosomes etc first heredity in organisms all the organisms in the world are characterized with their own unique features features of individual organism pass to the next generation and evolve in them this natural principles is applied to all organisms in the world this is why Rich plant grow from rich seed, mangoes from their seed shoots, that's also this the same way. This way, the characteristics of species are maintained of offspring two generations. Heredity is the passing of trait from father and mother to their offsprings through generations. In deep discussions and research considering heredity are done in the special branches of biology called genetics. Now the next part of our lecture, components carrying heredity materials actually behavioral features to the offsprings from generation to generation. The features of parents are transferred to their offsprings through heredity materials. These are chromosomes, gene, DNA and RNA. Uh, this is a chromosome. This is nucleus, chromatin fiber, chromosome nucleus some histone and then DLA helix. The main heredity materials is the chromosomes. It is spread in the nucleoplasm of a nucleus as a thread-like structure named chromatin. The scientist Strasberger first discovered the chromosomes in 18 75. Across species, the number of diploid set of chromosomes, 
there two set chromosomes one set from the mother and the other set from the father maybe 2 to 1600 in length the chromosome may be from 3.5 to 30 micron they are 1 micron equal to 1 divided by 100 millimeter and in white 0 0.2 to 2 microns the functions of chromosomes is to carry gene gene which control the characteristics of organism to the offspring from the parents colors of human eyes nature of hair compositions of skin etc are continue intact through the flow of heredity carries by chromosome this is why chromosomes are diagnosis as the physical basis of heredity so we called the physical basis of heredity is chromosome then dna the main component of chromosome is dna that is called deoxyribonucleic acid dna it is usually a double standard spiral structure of polynucleotide one stand is complementary to the others it is there are five carbon sugar nitrogen base nitrogen base actually purine and pyrimidine and purine and pyrimidine are composed of adenine guanine cytosine thymine and inorganic phosphate this is the structure of chromosome there are five carbon base sugar this is phosphate five carbon base sugar this is phosphate and uh, this strain connected with the another strain with the help of nitrogen base nitrogen base that is called adenine thymine guanine cytosine thymine adenine adenine thymine that is called thymine are attested with adenine and guanine attested with cytosine these three components collectively are called nucleotide. DNA is a stable substance in a chromosomes. In 1953, American scientist Watson and British scientist Crick first discovered the double helical structure of DNA, and for this contribution, both of them won the Nobel Prize in 1961. Nitrogen base are two types. Number one, purine and pyrimidine. Adenine, guanine are purine and cytosine and thymine are pyrimidines. The adenine of on stands bonds with the thymine of another stands by two hydrogen bond and guanine of a helix connect with the cytosine of the another helix by three hydrogen bond this bond is always developed between a purine and pyrimidine so a stand of dna is complementary to another stand but not identical to it a complete twist in a helix is 34 angstrom 34 angstrom long and in a complex twist there are 10 nucleotides so the length between the two adjacent nucleotide is 3.4 angstrom the two stand of polynucleotides in dna are positioned anti-parallelly it looks like 
runs in a twist ladder. The base are connected flatly and horizontally in position from the main axis. The external two stands or two axes of DNA are composed of consecutive arrangement of sugar and phosphate. And internal nitrogen base are plainly alligated. In fact, DNA is a precipitate, but in a prokaryotic cell, DNA is usually circulated and the surface area would be a few microns or two centimeters. It is composed of thousands of nucleotides and the diameters of the twisted helical structure everywhere is 20 angstrom. DNA is the main component and chemical carries to heredity. DNA is a true structure and carrier of a behavioral character of organisms and it directly carries the characteristics of parents to their offspring from generation to generation. Then the next topics RNA. RNA tends for ribonucleic acid. Most RNA has contained single polypeptide stands. It is composed of 5 carbon ribose sugar, inorganic phosphate and nitrogen base like adenine, guanine, cytosine and uracil. In the genome of RNA virus, RNA is found as a permanent components or the inherited components. In some virus like as tobacco mosaic virus, DNA is absent. The various the virus which are not composed of DNA process RNA as their nucleic acid in the situation the RNA serves itself as the hereditary materials. This is RNA single strain or single hands structure and where the single structure of RNA wrapping and then it turns to a coil and the nucleo nitrogen base that is called adenine, guanine, cytosine, thionine are at a state of each other and this point only this point are carried the characteristic of genetic characteristics from parents to offspring. The another topic is gene. The unit of controlling all the visible and invisible genes sign uh, and characteristics of organisms is called gene. Genes are positioned throughout the chromosomes of organisms. The location of a gene throughout the chromosomes is called the locus. For a specific characteristics, a gene is responsible. In some cases, a characteristic is expressed through competitive action of several genes. In another case, one gene controls more than one characteristic. From different research, it is clear that a gene is a perfect master of heredity. By taking necessary single from DNA, RNA enters into a ribose or ribosome, some of cytoplasms and according to that single protein of is synthesized. In the case of a eukaryotic cell, this protein, synthesized protein, is first deposited in the endoplasmic reticulum and then it passes 
through the Golgi body and vesicles. Meanwhile, the protein undergoes many changes and is carried to necessary place. In the prokaryotic cell, protein directly reaches in the digestion. This protein determines the nature and speed of biochemical reaction and form that the characteristics of living organisms are determined with respect to the environment. These characteristics include everything from structure to the behavior of any living organism. It can be expressed as DNA, RNA, protein, and then characteristics. The number of genes in different organisms is not same. In organisms of the same nature, the number of genes is more or less same. Seen are arranged in common principles among side from one end to another end. Chromosomes are separately spread from each other in a linear form. Different replicas of the same gene can express in same characteristics in different levels. For example, in a P, for tallness, the height determination gene is capital T, and for shortness, the height determination gene is small t. When capital T and small t is combined, it expresses its tallness. So, capital T with respect to small t is called the dominant gene and small t with respect with capital T is called the recessive gene. When in an organism two genes are recessive only then does the recessive gene express the recessive characteristics. Example, only P plant with double small t is short in height. To see how the characteristics or traits of parents are expressed in the next generation, scientist Gregor Johann Mendel did some experiment with pea plants in 1866 and discovered a valuable theory of genetics. The factor takes the presently glamorous form known as the gene. Gregor Johann Mendel is called the father of genetics. Mendel took a tall and a short pea plant and transferred pollen grain of a tall plants into a stigma of a short plant. In the same way, he transferred the pollen grain of a short plant into a stigma of a tall plant. This resulted in reproduction. He made sure that the tall drop other pollen grain would not appear. The reproductive seeds were showed and it also found that all the plants were tall in size and no plants were short. Out of this plant, one was taken into reproduction through self-pollination and the seeds were sown. It was found that there were both tall and short plants. Among them, uh, Three-fourths were tall and one-fourth was short. This is the experiment of Mendel's law. There, two capital T and two short T. Two capital T parents refers to tall plant, pure tall plants and two small t indicate parents which are 
pure short parents these tall parents create tooth gamete capital T capital T and this create two gamete small t small t and after their random crossing produce one capital T and one small t are appear in tall in size and then one capital T one small t also appears in tall in size and their gene capital T small t capital T small t these are first generation after that the crossing between first generation with first generation they produce gamete capital T and small t also capital T and small t and the random cross between these parents they produce one capital T then another capital T two capital T this appear in short in size and this is pure they appear in tall in size and exactly it pure capital T pure tall and then one capital T and one small t and another one capital T one small t both are tall in size but that their gene is a capital T and a small t also capital T and a small t and this is a hybrid tall and then one small t one small t together make a gene capital small t small t and they uh, produce a plant that, that appears in short in size and this is pure short uh, offspring this theory of Mendel's is applied to breeding of plants and animal the controlled sexual reproduction is done in plants and animal to bring out teacher characteristics as a result a generation with various characteristics are produced from the generation desired characteristics are selected for breeding to get plant and animal that have desired characteristics at present this theory is applied largely for the production of improved variety of crops dear student now we want to know about DNA replication this is most important topics DNA replication through the process a new DNA molecule is synthesized from an existing molecule of DNA DNA replicants is a half conservative way through this process the double standard DNA becomes single standard by breaking hydrogen bonds Then the protein nucleotide in a cell creates a new complementary stand by combining A adenine with T thymine. T with A thymine with adenine, C with Z cytosine with guanine, and Z with C guanine with cytosine. Thus, one of the old stand remains and combines with a new stand to make a complete DNA. At the end, a new stand combining with another old stand form the structure of a molecule of DNA. As a new DNA emerges, it has a new and an old stand. This principle is known as the semi-conservative method. In 1956 Watson and Kick first successfully proposed the replication of DNA process. This is a figure of DNA half replication or 
semi conservative application this is uh, the parental level dna and one dna strand is old and the this is old dna strand and in this point a new dna strand emerges and also a new dna strand emerges and the combining of a old and a new emerges dna and this make a double helix dna new double helix dna this is the system of semi conservative dna replication so the students uh, from our today's lecture we uh, will able to say about the definition of heredity in organisms and we also able to say about the component that carrying behavior features to the offspring from generation to generation this is first chromosome and then dna and then rna also gene and mendel's law mendel's experiment then dna replication and the simple theory about dna replication or semi conservative system in the next class we will discuss about dna test determination of human sex some genetic disorder like as color blindness and then thalassemia so student of class 10 no more today thank you very much for attend in our online class thank you